The research on self-esteem is a little surprising. I'm going to let you in on some secrets today on how to boost self-esteem. Self-esteem is one of those topics that comes up a lot in psychology. One of my mentors and professors back when I went through shrink school years ago, Dr. Richard Bednar, did some groundbreaking research. This was published by the American Psychological Association on self-esteem. What he found that surprised a lot of people is that self-esteem is not associated with or tied to some of the things that we traditionally think about when we think about self-esteem, like achievement or approval from other people or other external sources of validation. It's not about that. What Dr. Bednar and his colleagues found is that self-esteem is closely tied to one thing in particular, and that is seeing ourselves taking on and handling hard things, problems, challenges, things that are difficult or frustrating, to see ourselves taking those things on actually improves self-esteem. And interestingly enough, it doesn't matter if we're successful in the outcomes with taking on those challenging things. What matters is that we see ourselves taking it on instead of avoiding it or shying away from it. This is a challenge because everything in our mind tells us to avoid the hard stuff. I think that's a survival mechanism. But to boost our self-esteem, we have to see ourselves taking those things on. So a lot of what this comes down to is being able to do the hard things. Now, I've come to believe through my own experience and uh, in working with people for the past couple of decades, that hard things are gonna happen. But there's also an interesting principle that has to do with taking on hard things. And I call it hard easy or easy hard. Here's what I'm talking about. If we do a hard thing, we can generate an easy consequence in our life. What if we switch that up? If we do an easy thing, a lot of times that brings about a hard consequence in our life. And a lot of times we have to choose between easy hard and hard easy. Let's look at a couple of examples. Let's say that I've got a project that I need to get done, or if you're a student, maybe it's homework that needs to be done for a class, you know, some task but you really want to play and relax too. So if I do the easy thing first, which is to play, let's say that I, I wanna play a video game, okay? That's easy, right? That's the easy choice. What happens? Well, then I have to deal with a hard consequence that my work is not done or completed which causes a problem for me at school or on the job. Easy choice leads to a hard consequence. What if I choose to do the hard thing first, which is to do the work now? And arguably that's hard, right? That leads us to an easier consequence, which is that our work is done and we can now relax in peace without that nagging feeling that we have to get something done still. So let's look at another example. You know that person that you've been having kind of some hard times with and you're avoiding them because there's a hard conversation that needs to happen. The hard thing would be to have the conversation that you've been avoiding, right? What would that lead to? An easier consequence which would be an improved relationship. Let's just put it that way. What if we did the easy thing first? The easy thing would be to avoid that person and that would lead us to a harder consequence like having a more strained relationship. 
So again, we've got an example of doing the hard thing first creates an easier outcome for us. Doing the easy thing first often leads to a more difficult or hard consequence. Okay, here's another one that's pretty obvious and I think a lot of you are gonna relate to this. The hard thing would be to get up and exercise, right? Because that's gonna be hard. You have to get dressed and go to the gym and put on your gym shoes and it's hard. The easy thing would be to just relax, right? And not go exercise. What are the outcomes? If we do the easy thing in this case, you know what, I had a friend once who said, you're going to pay for your health, either now or later. And it tends to be more expensive later, doesn't it? If we relax now and avoid doing the hard thing, sure that's an easy choice, but it leads us to a hard consequence, which would be poor health. What if we do the hard thing and get up and get ourselves to do that thing that we've been avoiding? That's hard, right? If we go exercise, we're going to have improved health. We do the hard thing now, it creates an easier consequence for our life. Hard, easy easy hard. You can probably see how this is going to help in a lot of areas of our life. The topic of this particular video is how to boost or increase your self-esteem. If you see yourself doing the hard thing, your confidence will increase. Self-esteem will be elevated and enhanced. This, and this is according to the research, you guys. I shared with you that study that was done by Dr. Bednar and his associates. This is the way that our mind works. Hard easy or easy hard? Hard easy is going to give you the best shot. It's hard to do the hard things, but this thing is easy where we get to hang out here together. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new, click the subscribe button. We'd love to have you back.